neutral or I mean, unless Carla said I'm different. I mean, I don't know if you guys. Stop. No, keep revving. Lots of examples. Oh, it's not. It's not helpful. It's not helpful. But there's no that code piece of it. There's no record. Of it's showing in accidents. It's showing you. Right. But they really handled it. What was the upshot of the revolving door? I mean, he admitted. Well, there were, there were a bunch of questions. Of how many people? Did you do any follow through? How many people? Where did they go? First, he said, I don't know, but we'll get it to the record and I see that there's a problem with it, that the language needs to be tightened. So, you know, that would be a robot. I actually think that we need to, um, they need, people need to accuse themselves. Like Jane Harmon did today. Because she's received so much money? Because, yeah, she's received so much money from Toyota and there's a major Toyota there. No, she was going to. Made some sort of statement that she was going to take the basketball to attention. Yeah, and you read that. I mean, this, that would have been good too to ask. Oh, yeah, you should have just. just I came in. Yeah. yeah. And I still haven't heard back. So, um,. Listen. 
not a good time to be a playing a major player. <laughs> Copy. What a zoo. Uh, they say that some of the people that were around during the long time they said, this is almost a good thing. Well, I was here for Waco and all the uh, white water and everything. Hey, Dan. No They're literally here now. If you want to take 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm going yes, sir. To, uh, you have a 245 with a professor and one student from UT. They're here to talk about DOE. Do you want them to be brought here? Or Trying to make sure all our oh, members' name tags are up. Let's do it. Wow. Someone take a picture of us. <laughs> Someone take a picture of us.
Our second panel. I would like to introduce our second panel, testifying on this panel, is Mr. Akio Toyota, President and CEO of Toyota Motor Corporation, and Mr. Anaba, President and CEO of Toyota Motors North America. Gentlemen, it is the committee's longstanding policy that all witnesses are sworn in. Please stand and raise your right hand as I administer the oath. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? If so, answer in the affirmative. Let the record reflect that the witness is answered in the affirmative. You may be seated. Let me begin by first welcoming you, and I really appreciate the fact that uh, uh, you have uh, come to testify, and that, uh, Mr. Toyota, that you actually volunteered to come and to testify. That, to want you to know, we're very impressed with that. That shows your commitment, and of course, to uh, safety as well. And we want to appreciate the fact that you uh, volunteered to come. Mr. Naba, we welcome you here as well. And we've had conversations with you, you know, um, over the past few weeks and months. So at this time, we would uh, ask you to testify. Actually, we will give you additional time. Um, uh, we generally give five minutes, but, you know, being he is all the way from Japan, we give him more time. So, Mr. Toyota. Yes, you may begin. His microphone. Yes. Thank you, Chairman Towns. I'm Akio Toyoda of Toyota Motor Corporation. I'd first like to state that I love cars as much as anyone, and I love Toyota as much as anyone. I'm here with my Toyota family of dealers, plant team members, and friends. I take that most pleasure in offering vehicles that our customers love, and I know that Toyota's 200,000 team members, dealers, and suppliers across America feel the same way. However, in the past few months, our customers have started to feel uncertain about the safety of Toyota's vehicle, and I take full responsibility for that. Today, I would like to explain to the American people, as well as our customers in the U.S. and around the world, how seriously Toyota takes the quality. Yes, Mr. Mr. Toyota, could you just pull the mic just a little closer to you? Thank you. Today, I would like to explain to the American people, as well as our customers in the U.S. and around the world, how seriously Toyota takes the quality and safety of its vehicle. I would like to express my appreciation to Chairman Towns and Ranking Member Isa, as well as the members of the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee for giving me this opportunity to express my thoughts today. I would like to focus my comments on three topics. Toyota's basic philosophy regarding quality control, the cause of the recalls, and how we will manage quality control going forward. First, I want to discuss the philosophy of Toyota's quality control. I myself, as well as Toyota, am not perfect. At times, we do find defects, but in such situations, we always stop strive to understand the problem and make changes to improve further. In the name of the company, its long-standing tradition and pride, we never run away from our problems or 
pretend we don't notice them. By making continuous improvements, we aim to continue offering even better products for society. That is the core value we have kept closest to our hearts since the founding days of the company. At Toyota, we believe the key to making quality product is to develop quality people. Each employee thinks about what he or she should do, continuously making improvements, and by doing so, makes even better cars. We have been actively engaged in developing people who share and can execute on this core value. It has been over 50 years since we began selling in this great country, and over 25 years since we started production here. And in the process, we have been able to share this core value with the 200,000 people at Toyota Operation, dealers and suppliers in this country. That is what I am most proud of. Second, I would like to discuss what caused the recall issues we are facing now. Toyota has, for the past few years, been expanding its business rapidly. Quite frankly, I fear the pace at which we have grown may have been too quick. I would like to point out here that Toyota's priority has traditionally been the following. First, safety. Second, quality. Third, volume. These priorities became confused, and we are not able to stop, think, and make improvements as much as we are able to before, and a basic stance to listen to customers' voice to make better products has weakened somewhat. We pursued growth over the speed at which we are able to develop our people and our organization, and we should sincerely be mindful of that. I regret that this has resulted in the safety issue described in the recalls we face today, and I am deeply sorry for any accident that Toyota drivers have experienced. Especially, I would like to extend my condolences to the members of the Sailor family for the accident in San Diego. I would like to send my prayers again, and I will do everything in my power to ensure that such a tragedy never happen again. Since last June, when I looked, took office, I have personally placed the highest priority on improving quality over quantity. And I have shared that direction with our stakeholders. As you well know, I am the grandson of the founder, and all the Toyota vehicles bear my name. For me, when the cars are damaged, it is as though I am as well. I, more than anyone, wish for Toyota's cars to be safe and for our customers to feel safe when they use our vehicles. Under my leadership, I would like to reaffirm a value of placing safety and quality, the highest on our list of priorities, which we have held to firmly from the time we were founded. I will also strive to devise a system in which we can surely execute what we value. Third, I would like to discuss how we plan to manage quality control as we go forward. Up to now, any decision on con conducting recalls have been made by the Customer Quality Engineer Division at Toyota Motor Corporation in Japan. This division confirms whether there are technical problems and makes decisions on the necessity of recall. However, reflecting on the issues today, what we lacked was the customer perspectives. To make improvements on this, we'll make the following changes to the recall decision-making process. When recall decisions are made, a step will be added in the process to ensure 
the management will make responsible decision from the perspective of customer safety first. To do that, we will devise a system in which customers' voice around the world will reach our management in a timely manner, and also a system in which each region will be able to make decisions as necessary. Further, we will form a quality advisory group composed of respected outside experts from North America and around the world to ensure that we do not make misguided decisions. Finally, we will invest heavily in quality in the U.S. through the establishment of an automobile center of quality excellence, the introduction of new position, product safety executive, and the sharing of more information and responsibility within the company for product quality decisions, including defects and recalls. Even more importantly, I will ensure that members of the management team actually drive the cars and that they check for themselves where the problem lies as well as its severity. I myself am a trained test driver. As a professional, I am able to check a problem in a car and can understand how severe the safety concern is in a car. I drove the vehicle in the accelerator pedal recall as well as the Prius, comparing the vehicles before and after the remedy is various environmental settings. I believe that only by examining the problems on site can one make decisions from the customer perspective. One cannot rely on reports or data in the meeting room. Through the measures I have just discussed and with whatever results we obtain from the investigation we are conducting in cooperation with NHTSA, I intend to further improve on the quality of Toyota vehicles and fulfill a principle of putting the customer first. My name is on every car. You have my personal commitment that Toyota will work vigorously and unceasingly to restore the trust of our customers. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Toyota. Mr. Anaba. Chairman Towns, Ranking Member Isa, members of the committee, thank you for inviting me to testify today. My name is Yoshimi Inaba, and I'm the President and COO of Toyota Motor North America and Chairman and CEO of Toyota Motor Sales USA. As you heard today from Toyota President Akio Toyota, and as the Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigation heard yesterday from Jim Lentz, President of Chief Operating Officer of Toyota Motor Sales USA, Toyota is taking decisive steps to restore the trust of the tens of millions of Americans who purchase and drive our vehicles. <coughs> our 172 team members and dealers across North America are making extraordinary efforts to complete our current recalls as quickly and convenient as possible. We have rigorously tested our solutions and are confident that with these repairs, Toyota vehicle will remain among the safest on the road today. We are also going further by installing advanced brake override systems in all of our new North American vehicles before the end of 2010, and in an expanded range of ex existing models as a customer confidence measure, and taking comprehensive steps to ensure strict quality con control and increased responsiveness to our customers and regulators in the future. As you have heard, Mr. Toyota is leading a top-to-bottom review of our global quality control processes and will seek input from independent safety experts to ensure that our processes meet or exceed industry standards. 
as head of Toyota's North American operation, I'll be closely involved in this review, working with a new chief quality officer for North America. I also will take responsibility for ensuring that we improve our dialogue with U.S. safety regulators and that we take prompt action <laughs> on any issue we identify to ensure the safety of uh, American drivers. In inviting me to testify today, the committee asked me to address several issues with regard to our recent recalls. Let me summarize my answers here. Our recent recalls address five separate issues that we have identified with certain Toyota vehicles. In total, some 5.3 million vehicles across 14 models are affected by, the, by one or more of these recalls in the United States. The biggest recalls are for solutions our engineers have developed with regard to two specific mechanical causes of unintended acceleration. One involves all weather or inappropriate accessory floor mats that when loose or improperly fitted can entrap the accelerator pedal. The other concerns axle pedals that can over time grow sticky with wear in rare instances. The solutions we have developed for both these issues are effective and durable. With respect to possible accelerator pedal entrapment by the floor mat, Toyota recently designed a vehicle-based change that directly address, addresses the problem and announced the solution to the public in November 2009 as part of the safety campaign announced on September 29, 2009. Owners of affected vehicles can, in the meantime, drive safely by ensuring that they use only properly secured appropriate floor mats. With respect to street, uh, sticking accelerator pedal, Toyota announced a safety recall in the United States in January to address this issue. The sticking condition does not occur suddenly, and if it does, the vehicle can be controlled with firm and steady application of the brakes. We are confident that vehicles whose drivers are not experience any issues with their accelerator pedal are safe to drive, and Toyota dealers are rapidly completing the repairs on our customers' vehicles. In both these cases, Toyota thoroughly and carefully evaluated the technical aspect of these issues. However, we now understand that we must think more for a customer-first perspective rather than a technical perspective in investigating complaints, and that we must communicate faster, better, and more effectively with our customers and our regulators. Our recent smaller voluntary recalls of certain 2010 Prius and Lexus HS hybrids for a software update to a braking system, certain 2000 Camry cars to inspect a power steering hose, and certain 2010 Tacoma trucks to inspect the front drive shaft all illustrate this new approach. Chairman Towns, Ranking Member Isa, and members of the committee, I assure you that nothing matters more to Toyota than the safety and reliability of the vehicles our customers drive. We are committed not only to fixing vehicles on the road and ensuring they are safe, but to making our new vehicles better and even more reliable through a redoubled focus on putting our customers first. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you very much. And let me thank both of you for your um, uh, testimony. Uh, let me begin by um, saying, have you told NHTSA everything you know about sudden acceleration problems? Have you told NHTSA? Is to me? In both. 
According to my understanding. Put my mic close. According to my understanding. Yeah. We fully share the information we have with the authorities. Mm -hmm. Our Washington office has been always in touch with NHTSA, and we are fully cooperating with NHTSA in any information they require. As Toyota disclosed all information about other potential safety defects with your vehicles to the regulators, have you done that? Uh, I do not know the specifics. However, as I mentioned earlier, I do understand that all the information we have are shared with the authorities. Let me um, ask this question. Uh, today, Attorney General Andrew Cuomo of New York announced an agreement with Toyota and this agreement provides that if a customer uh, might be afraid to drive his or her car subject to a recall, the dealer will pick up their cars, fix them, and return them to the customers. Now the customer will then be reimbursed for any taxi or rental car expenses that they might uh, uh, incur. Uh, will you commit to doing this for customers nationwide? I repeat, if you want me to repeat it, I will be delighted no, to do sorry. so. Being translated. Yeah. Uh, Chairman, uh, let me address that question because be I'm more local here. Be delighted. Yes. Uh, I heard a number of instances that when this recall news came out, I think a uh, number of customers who were very afraid and our dealers are fully behind it and dealers took care of the customers very well. In s many instances, uh, dealers went to pick up their cars and then also gave them a, a Toyota rental car for, for the time that they're not able to do. And uh, this recall process is rigorously going on. I think there is a good understanding now on the part of the customers that the cars are being fixed well and they are confident about that. I guess the, my question is, are you just doing this in New York or is this something that you're going to do no, this is nationwide. happening all over, all over the world. I mean, all over the, the nation, nationwide, yes. Sir. Okay. So I just want to make certain, you know, we have that understanding because I, I understand it's going on in New York. And the last, uh, and the last question that I have um, uh, for you is that, Mr. Toyota, you have offered a brake override feature for some recalled vehicles. Why haven't you offered that feature for all Toyota vehicles. あの、ちょっと説明させていただきます。あの、予期せぬいわゆる加速の原因というのは、あの、大きく分けて、あの、4つあるというふうに思っております。Allow me to explain the situation a little bit. Um, the yeah, factors, pull, contri to pull, factors contributing to the unexpected acceleration, I believe, can be roughly classified into four categories. その一つがいわゆる電子スロットルの異常によるあれです。もう一つはやはり使い方とかあの使い間違いとかいうようなことが二番目に挙げられます。三番目はやはり車の構造上の問題、そして四つ目が部品の構造上の問題の。First, problem with electronic throttle system. 
Secondly, the way in which a car is used or misusage of the car. And thirdly, the structural aspect of the vehicle. And fourthly, the structural aspect of the parts used in the vehicle. So these, I understand, are four, four major factors contributing to unexpected acceleration. So the Densi Slotter was a little bit of a little bit of いわば安全第一のコンセプトで設計をしておりますでまたそれは大変厳しい車内の調査でも日座との調査でもこれまで誤作動は見つかっておりませんのでえ設計上の問題はないというふうに確信をしております。And of that, the electronic throttle control system is designed based upon the concept of safety first and therefore Whenever there is any abnormality or anomaly there in that system, the fuel supply to the system is cut off. And even under very vigorous testing conducted internally or by NHTSA, no problem and malfunction was identified. And therefore, I'm absolutely confident that there is no problem with the design of the ETC system. お客様が万,位万が一、えー、予期せぬ加速が起きたらどうするかという不安を持っている事実を重視しまして、えー、さらに安全を強化するために、えー、チェアマンおっしゃいました、BOS を追加することに決めました。Um, however, placing emphasis upon the fact that customers do have concern as to the possibility of unexpected uh, acceleration, which yeah. may result from the remaining three reasons, in order to offer extra measure of confidence, as the chairman has just mentioned, we decided to add um, brake override system. Yeah, let me see, is that a yes or no? I think you know, that's what I'm trying to get to, I mean, is it a yes or no? Because I'm, 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 I'm on uh, Congress uh, license uh, time. I'm not a scientist, I'm not a scientist. 細かい説明はできませんが、えー、お客様に安心して乗ってもらうために、えー、一生懸命考えてくれという指示をしてまいりました。で、先日発表した通りの車は、えー、お客様が安心して乗っていただく、はいえー、車、えー、に BOS が装着されたという理解をしております。Let me address in a different perspective. Uh, we are, uh, just for the record, we are uh, putting brake over ride system on all the models for North America coming off the line by the end of this year. And now, uh, probably your question is retroactively what about the existing uh, models? We have already announced Camry, Avalon, and then uh, uh, ES300. And then IS. Those are already included in as an additional measure when we do a recalls. And now we have recently announced uh, Tacoma, which has a very high complaint rate, uh, and then uh, added to a Venza and Sequoia. This covers yeah. probably about, uh, my recollection is correct, 72% of the recall population, and any older one. Technically, it is not possible, and therefore we think we have covered. But <laughs> we do not, you know, stop it there. We yeah. carefully monitor so. the situation by the next year, with this new model, with BOS coming in, with this retroactive actions. I think we will quite sure. We'll be quite sure that it will be very much lower than the industry average. Uh, otherwise, most not all. I yield to the gentleman from California. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and uh, the chairman has, uh, has proven that he can ask a, uh, a, a question so complex as to even be difficult for people of your great knowledge, uh, and it doesn't surprise me. Let me ask in a different way the same question so that we all on the dais have clarity. And, and Mr. Naba, I will put this one to you. In order, isn't it true, in order to use a Brake or advanced brake override system like this, 
your cars depend on electronic systems. They depend on microprocessors and they depend on engine control modules that can actually simultaneously reduce fuel when sensing through the data bus that the brake has been pushed. Isn't that correct? Uh, you are much better technically <laughs> savvy than I am. I, I think I, I, I believe so. So I think uh, for all of us here uh, who are concerned, of course, about fail-safe and uh, acceleration caused by electronics, I think, I'm asking you, isn't it fair to say that although electronics could at times be a problem, and you ha your people have not eliminated that, the solution is in fact electronics in this case, and that's what's going to give the higher level of safety? Well, I can only say that this is an added measure of, to uh, customer confidence. And of course, it, I do not mean to say it solved all the problems. Yes. Well, and, uh, I understand that in the earlier testimony, there were some uh, discrepancies, perhaps, between how uh, Secretary LaHood would explain certain technical occurrences and how you would. Uh, is that correct, that, that you would like to be able to correct the record uh, on some areas of Secretary LaHood's testimony? Uh, I'm not quite understand what specific comments are you referring to? Well, I, I guess I would welcome that if you would like to, we would offer you the opportunity to submit for the record any technical corrections in what Secretary LaHood's questions and answers were during the earlier testimony. Well, we'd be glad to sort of for record. Uh, thank, thank you. And then I would ask that we put up the unattended acceleration exhibit that I showed earlier. And uh, I, I put this up for both of you because in your uh, current advertisement on TV, you said something which I thought was extremely profound and a high goal. You said that good companies fix their mistakes and great companies learn from them. In the case of the unattended acceleration, in 2007, there was a problem in the United States for which the floor mats were changed. There was a problem in Japan with a different model, but similar in floor pedal, in which the Toyota pedal itself was shortened. And now, in the case of all these models, there is an electronic upgrade additionally to prevent an accident like we had in 2009. Would that be the outcome today, the outcome of the recall, including the electronics upgrade to advanced brake override, is that the type of learn from your mistake that we can expect in the future on any problem that develops? uh, I do not know uh, this uh, situation uh, you referred to about 2007, but generally speaking, whenever a problem occurs, Toyota addresses those problems in the most sincere manner and attitude. Uh, may I make a comment? Yes, please. Uh, I came to know this Japan's problem, to be shameful, only in the previous hearing you mentioned. And yes. that was the very first time that I ever heard. And therefore, uh, let me look into that, if it is correct or not. But at the same correct. time, I think we're the company that we learn great lessons from me, from this instance, and we try to do more. So I think this is, you know, we are committed that we try to remain as great company, not as just good company. So I think we have a full commitment of our president. And then he has just uh, said, and we have many, many measures already taking place. I, I don't want to go no, into No, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, and I have a copy of documents that you have provided to us concerning the, uh, the Toyota Blade, which is the Japanese only vehicle. And we'll deliver that to you for your further update. My second and only other question, uh, Secretary LaHood uh, talked about wanting to but not necessarily having the transparency of worldwide sales and problems. Will you agree 
Mr. Toyota, to be the company that leads by providing the U.S. NHTSA with full transparency of your worldwide observations uh, and help set a model for all the major companies here in the U.S. あの、あの、ご質問に対してはあの、体制を今整えつつありまして、え、グローバルクオリティ uh, to that question, I clearly say yes. In the past cases of recall or problem uh, solution, in making decisions, uh, we based our decision on two issues, the technical uh, consideration and also whether or not the regulations and statutes of different parts of the world are complied with. And in that sense, going forward, uh, we intend to uh, exchange and share information more timely throughout the world, and we are now setting up the system for that purpose. And for that specific purpose, we are going to establish the Special Committee on Global uh, Quality, which I personally will be heading. And the very first meeting of that will be held on March the 30th. And for that purpose, uh, we are now setting up the structure uh, where the United States and other parts of the world will be represented in the meeting of that special committee of global com for global quality. And we are now introducing this system so that we, can, we really face up to this problem openly and transparently. Thank you, and thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your indulgence. Thank you. Recognize the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Mr. Ken Jorsky. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Gentlemen, welcome to the United States. Uh, I have to compliment you, Mr. Toyota, uh, for deciding to come here and testify. Uh, actually, it's quite a unique experience in terms you'll be able to brag about the fact that you withstood the interrogation of a congressional committee. That, that's a, a badge of courage in the United States. But I, if, if you'd heard any of the examiner's questions of the secretary, and I think now of yourselves, uh, we're a little disturbed about some things, and I am too, although I'm very sympathetic to the fact that we want to encourage international business. So we want to certainly open our markets to your manufacturing from Japan or your ownership of manufacturing facilities in the United States. But I thought I heard this morning the Secretary say that you had a problem in Japan that was detected in uh, 07. And then subsequently uh, the same problem was detected in Europe. But there was no communication of that problem or the prospect of that problem uh, being contained in American manufactured automobiles or your products being sold in the American market. If that impression that I have is true, that's very troubling to me. I, I, I would like you as best you can, and I understand the difference in language, to explain whether or not you're giving the American automobile purchaser, your customer, and the American market the same level of attention that you give to the Japanese market or the European market and if you didn't in the past, what are you going to do to make sure that difference doesn't occur in the future? We can't afford to have a, lie, a lag of a year or two years of finding out something that is defective in an automobile. 
Uh, I suspect the uh, stock price uh, is reflecting that to you, uh, that, uh, that it can be very costly. I hope it doesn't destroy a, a great deal of the equity of your company, and I hope you can move on and move beyond this question. But I, I, I want to I hear in my own mind that there hasn't been this difference between the home market and the American market or the home market and the European market, the home market and the European market, and the ignoring of the American market and the American customer, if I may. America, no me narazu, and what actually need to teva, Sekai no Kaksamani, and Hontoni, eh, Onaji service or Onaji Shindo de Okonai Tai, Yufuni, eh, Omot Teorimas. Tada, eh, Congressman, go stick no tori, eh, Imama de no Kakdai no speedoga, eh, Tasho sono, or Hitono, or no speedo ni, Choto, eh, Todokanakata. え、え、to the customers not only in the United States, but customers world over. However, as Congressman has just pointed out, our speed of expansion outpaced our development and training of uh, people working for us. And right now, I'm fully aware of that. In July last year, I became president. And since then, I appointed executive vice presidents responsible for each regions of the world. And by doing so, we established a system where information of different regions can come into the head office, can be captured in a more timely manner. And on top of that, uh, with specifically about this uh, quality issue that we are faced with at the moment, with respect to concerns of the customers or customers' voices before they are expressed in, the terms, of, in terms of a complaints, uh, we are going to capture those uh, so that information be conveyed to the head office in a timely manner. And we are putting in place a system to enable us to do that. Let me address, if I may, uh, specific issues of defect information uh, sharing, uh, which was also uh, a ranking member Isa, uh, Isa's you know, question. Uh, I think we should have done a better job in sharing those cross-regional uh, defective information. What, what have you uh, determined was the cause that you did? What was it? A culture? Is it a psychology? Is it a, a, something that happened in the communications breakdown? It just seems absolutely. When essential. you go into a certain database, you can find it, but it is not. I must say, I don't know very well, but positively shared. Now, going forward, what we are going to do is one of the things I'd like to uh, sort of report to you that we are making now one American we call product safety executive is a part of recall decision making as part of the global committee headed by one Japanese, one American, and maybe later added from other regions like Europe and China. And then in that all the information are shared there so that we can evaluate and know what's going on in other part of the world in more transparent way. So this is the change that we are making you know, now. Uh, let, me, let me ask you just a side question for me. Do, j does Japan have a torch si system similar to the United States where a suit can be brought for damages by these injuries and loss of life? 
製造物賠償責任のようなそういったその問題があったときに訴えられるというのはありますか、まあ、あの不法行為法と統一説明をおったんですけれども、訴訟できるようになあ,のあると認識をしております。I believe we do. Uh, we, we have a little bit of a contest sometime going on in the United States. We call it tort reform. Tort reform. And, and, and uh, it's, it's an argument that my friends on the other side very often use in the medical argument field that if you had tort reform and you just allow some people to die or get severely injured without recovery, that would correct things.、Uh, I think you are making the best argument in the world I've ever heard of why we should have the present tort system. And I hope you recognize how, what kind of payment for your, the injuries and the damages suffered by innocent American citizens who, like myself, have, have grown up in an atmosphere that we had a great deal of faith in something that was stamped made in Japan, that it was of the highest reliability. And you, 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 you injured that thought process in the American public. And you will be called upon under our system to pay compensation for that.、Mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 I now yield to the gentleman from Indiana on that note. Let, let me just preface my remarks by saying we really need tort reform.、Uh, <laughs> we should just forgive these companies and let them kill our people. Never mind. We just have a difference of opinion. First of all,、uh, let me thank you both for being here. I think it's very, very good that you came. It shows real concern on the part of Toyota. And I also want to compliment、uh, Toyota dealers around the country. I went to a couple of Toyota dealers this last week to take a look at、uh, what's going on, and they're working day and night to correct these mistakes. And so, to your Toyota dealers, I want to say thank you for working so hard to correct these problems. Now, after having said that, first of all, I have a case here that took place in 1997. I don't want to go into all the details on it, but a woman was injured in an automobile accident involving a Toyota.、Uh, she lost both legs. And I would like for you to review that, and if you wouldn't mind giving me a response. Would you、yes, do that、sir. for me? Yes, sir. Okay,、certain. I'll have my staff give this to you so that we can talk about that. The second thing I want to do is I, I don't understand this. I went to the Toyota dealer, and this, this is the floor. Pedal mechanism that's used in Japan and in some cars here in America. This is one that's、uh, manufactured by CTS here in the United States, and it is CTS, and they have done a good job on this. This pedal here has been involved in the accidents, I believe, that have caused the fatalities. This one here, there's been sticking, and they've been putting a shim in there, a little metal piece in to correct that. And my question is, Why the difference? These are going in the same model car, and why do, why do they have different specifications? Because this one here has caused the problems that's created some deaths, and this one here has had some sticking problems which have been created,、uh, corrected, but it's different. And so when, when you're manufacturing the same car, why is it that they don't meet the same exact specifications? It seems to me that would be easier to correct than having one that's made one way and one that's made another way. あの同じものなんですけれども、車はですね、ご存知のように、2万点から3万点の部品から成り立っております、でその車の設計は、えー、仕入れ先と協力してやっていることをまずご理解賜りたいと思います。Uh, as a congressman already knows, a car consists of some 20,000 to 30,000 parts. And I would like you to understand 20,000 to 30,000 parts. And I would like you to first of all know,、uh, know that we work together with the suppliers in designing those parts. Well, well, if, 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 I might, if I might interrupt, I understand that you work with the suppliers, but the designs are different. Th this one here has a different mechanism in the bottom than this one. And I'm just wondering why, if it's the same model car, there is a difference. ですから、えー、部品によっては、えー、仕入れ先さんが設計をして、えー、トヨタがそれを承認するという方法と、トヨタの中のエンジニアが設計するという
2つの方法がございます。今回、そのペダルに関しましては、両方とも CA 先さ,さんの設計を私どもが承認するという形を取らさせていただいています。共に日本とアメリカに使用するに値する優秀な仕入れ先さんが2社おられたということで、2つの設計,設計されたペダルが出てきたというふうにご理解いただきたいと思います。Some parts are designed by our suppliers with Toyota approving that, and in other cases, Toyota's own engineers design those parts. So there are two approaches used. In the case of this specific pedal,、um, the suppliers、uh, designed the pedal and Toyota approved that. And in both cases, we were able to identify two excellent suppliers whose parts. Were worthy of us to use in the United States and Japan, and therefore、uh, those two、uh, parts designed by our suppliers were used in this pedal. So, I think that the Shire Saki さんと共に成長していこうという考え方がございます。そういう意味では、一つの Shire Saki さんだけに発注するのではなく、同じ機能を果たす部品を作っている他のメーカーといわば、複社発注。というのが、えー、いろんなところで行われていることもご理解賜りたいというふうに思います。And on top of that, it is a philosophy to grow together with our suppliers. And in that sense, rather than placing order with one single supplier,、uh, we source the same parts from multiple suppliers. That is to say, when there are suppliers that can supply parts, That perform the same function, we do that. And this is another point I would appreciate your understanding. No, I, if, if I might, real quickly, just say I understand, but when there's a, a problem of this magnitude where people have been killed because of a part, and there's another part that didn't result in fatalities, but there was a sticking, it seems to me it would be easier to correct the problem if there was more consistency in the two parts. Okay, thank you very much. The gentleman's time has expired. I now recognize the gentleman from Maryland, Congressman Cummings. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank、uh, both of you for being with us、uh, this afternoon.、Um, and to Mr. Toyota,、um, I have read your testimony and I've listened to it, and I can appreciate you saying and meaning、uh, that you're sorry.、Um, the problem is that it's one thing to say you're sorry, it's another thing when it seems as if、um, time after time, There are pronouncements that problems are being addressed, and over and over again, they seem like they're not being addressed.、Uh, 2007, a fatal crash involving a Camry because allegedly of four mats, a person was killed. And, and we can't get away from these facts. September 2007, you then, 55,000 car, cars are recalled. And I know this was before your presidency. August 2009, California fatal crash, four people were killed, Sailor family. September 2009, 4.2 million cars recalled. And we could go on and on. And then just yesterday, Mr. James Lentz III. Said something that was very interesting, and basically what he said was that even with the sticky pedal and the floor mat problem, that there may be, this may not account for all of the problems. So, and he implied that maybe there were some electronic problems taking place. The question becomes at what point? Do, and, and I know also you want to regain the trust of your customer base. 
But that trust is hard to establish or reestablish when they see over and over again these kinds of situations and they say, well, why should we believe that things are going to get better? And I know that there have been members on this dais who have said they've had some good things that Toyota has done, but I've got people in my district who, by the way, are saying they call and they have to wait to get their cars repaired. But at the same time, they, gotta take, they have to take the children to the babysitter. They've got to go and do their marketing. I mean, this is just practical things that are happening. So I'm just asking you, how do you say to your customers, the people who take their hard-earned dollars in a tough economic time and spend them on a Toyota vehicle, how do you say to them that we can trust you now when, and, and I say this most respectfully, when it seems as if there is no end to this series of, of uh, uh, promises and then promises that seem to come short of reaching the goal of safety. I sincerely regret that some people actually encountered accidents in Toyota vehicles. あの、電子スロットルの部分は、え、少しでも異常があると燃料供給を停止する安全第一のコンセプトでまず設計をしております。As I mentioned earlier, with respect to the electronic throttle control system, uh, the system itself has been designed based upon the philosophy of safety first, and therefore, whenever any abnormality or anomaly is detected, fuel supply is instantly cut off. しかしながら現実は事故は起きているわけでございますので、that notwithstanding, accidents actually happened. And therefore, I instructed that every effort be made thoroughly to reproduce and duplicate the accidents. And up until yesterday, those re duplication tests have been repeated and conducted. However, no malfunction or problems were identified based upon the tests conducted internally within Toyota. And therefore, based upon such thorough examination and testing conducted within Toyota, I have been saying that I have no um, question with respect to the integrity of our ETC system. イベントデータレコーダーを一点一点精査して調査し、またその活動はどんどん情報開示をしていくということは積極的に進めてトランスパランシーをより高めた企業に変えていきたいというふうに思っております。and therefore, uh, in cooperation with the authorities concerned, we already announced that we are going to uh, thoroughly examine and investigate um, the uh, outcome and data recorded in event data recorder. And the findings uh, will be made public and disclosed in a prompt uh, and timely manner. And changes will be made in a very transparent manner so that that be assured going forward. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. I now yield five minutes to the gentleman from Florida, Mr. Micah. First of all, Mr. Chairman, um, I'd like to request unanimous consent to include in the record 
the specific information on the administration's proposed 2011 uh, budget request, which cut uh, uh, National Highway Tran Transportation Safety Administration's vehicle research program and also further uh, reduce the amount for vehicle safety research in the budget. I didn't have this further. If that could be inserted also in the budget, uh, I mean, in the, uh, <laughs> Uh, the budget information in the record appropriate to my uh, previous questioning of the secretary without objection i will review it and then uh, and we will but i reserve the right okay. to reject all right well it again okay then i'll proceed uh, this is indeed a very embarrassing day uh, for the united states national Highway Safety Transportation Administration. Uh, it's equally a very embarrassing day for Toyota to have the son of the founder of Toyota here as a, a chief uh, officer to come before the United States Congress. Uh, I'm embarrassed for you, sir. Uh, I'm embarrassed for my dealers that I've talked to I'm embarrassed for uh, thousands of people, hardworking Americans who work in, I guess, over 10 plants across the United States. Uh, I thought, actually, I thought we were doing pretty good because that Toyota was taking quite a hit, and I'll put in the record later on your safety record and some of the things you've done, positively information that that I got until I, I was shaving the other day and heard the news of the of the memo that was uh, that was prepared by a, a gentleman uh, who I didn't even know his name. Uh, bring over a copy of the July 6 uh, Inaba memo. I hadn't read this actually the details of it today. Mr. Inaba, this is one of the most embarrassing documents I've ever seen. You're, in your preparation of this, you embarrassed all the people I represent, those hardworking people across this country. This is absolutely appalling, sir, that you would identify, and I know you were on the job only a few days, but key safety issues and identify as one of them on page 14 of the document you prepared uh, uh, you, you identified uh, the, the problem of, uh, of the, the, the uh, safety issue in, with, with regard to this, uh, these, these pedals. Then on page 16, wins for T Toyota Safety Group. How could you possibly put in writing th this and list as wins for T Toyota? Uh, it... it <sighs> particularly under the defects entry uh, and negotiated equipment call, recall on Camry ESSA saved $100 million with no defect found. I, I think you've done a great injustice, sir, in, in this. I, I don't know if it was, a, it's not a rookie mistake. Obviously, you've been with the company, but to prepare this document, uh, to undermine the good working people uh, and the reputation. Uh, Toyota has an outstanding reputation and actually has had a great safety record. But this discredits everyone. How would you respond, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, let me get the uh, facts straight. This is the only few days after my arrival uh, okay. to the company. And then had, had you been uh, with Toyota before? Uh, yes, I, I How had long? Been. Uh, 40 years in total, sir. Uh, but this is after two years of office away from Toyota, I also first became uh, the president of Toyota Motor North America. And then I visited one of the few days to Washington office. I had no idea what the company was. Oh, and that's why our staff wanted to give me a, a orientation material. I was uh, stunned to find your name on the front page. To address to me. I did not know that till today. Yes, sir. Okay. And the uh, point is that, you know, I was in the middle of orient orientation tour. 
Yes, I mean, I, may, I didn't make it very clear. My name is on it. It is presented to me, not me made it. Uh, that, that's all but I want. But you were aware of this. This is present. Again, this is information you had in your company prepared. If, if in the future any company prepared a document like this and presented it to anyone in the company, to me it would be, uh, to me it would be one of the most injurious things you could do to anyone's reputation. I know it says on the side confidential and all of that, but you, do you realize the people that have been let down, uh, me, the, the, the people in my district who go to work every day in those to Toyota operations, uh, the, the sales, uh, and already you've, uh, the, the reputation uh, has been severely damaged by, by what's been done here? I honestly, with my honesty, I do not recall the meeting in any depth, but at the same time now, I, re I see that. Uh, I think it, I must say to you that it is so inconsistent yeah. with the guiding principle of Toyota, well, and my feeling is, and therefore... It, it, it's, it's just, to me, it's unbelievable. Yes, I, I, I feel the same. Toyota, you're in charge of the company Quite and so have that respons uh, responsibility. Mm. Can you assure the committee that this is not the approach, this will not be the approach <laughs> of... Uh, Toyota now or in the future? Because now I'm getting more familiar. I'm a president of that company. I am going to rectify that if there's any tone of it. The gentleman's time is expired. I'm sorry. The gentleman's time is expired. And uh, let me just make an announcement before we uh, move any further. There's a vote on the floor, and there's actually uh, three votes. And uh, we plan to uh, continue. Uh, and of course, the uh, Gentlewoman from Washington, D.C. will assume the chair. So, um, but, but I also want to let the gentleman from Florida know that his time has long expired. Yes, sir, and if the, uh, Mr. Toyota could just answer it. Thank you. Yes, sir, I'm not aware of the details. I don't know if I can answer the question. So, I don't know if I can answer the question. So, I don't know if I can answer the question. So, I don't know if I can answer the question. So, I don't know if I can answer ごくごくどこの部署でも普通に行われているというふうに思いますがその書類の中身によって企業全体のそのものがそういう揺らぐというものではないというふうに一般論ではございますが思っております。I do not know about that specific document you referred to and I do not know the comment. However, generally speaking, when a new person takes office as president. Uh, it is customarily done in any division to make presentations on various contents or substances going on in the company. However, generally speaking, the substance and contents of such documents does not affect the entire company in a way to cause drifting of the company itself. The gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Kucinich, has five minutes. You can, or you can, if you only have a few minutes left. I'm, at, I'm, I'm calling on people who are left. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to Mr. Connolly then, since it go, goes on this side. We are. You are. Mr. Connolly, you have five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, Mr. Toyoda, welcome uh, to the committee. Um, when did it first come to your attention that there was a problem with acceleration of your vehicles? あの、私あの、7月から、あの、社長を任命されておりました。え、ですから、え、それまでの情報と、お、それ以降 社長として知ってる情報には随分大きな差がございます。で、そういう意味で、え、会社としては、あの、知ってたことと、私個人社長として知ってたところは分かれると思いますが、
、えー、私が知っている限りのことは、あのー、はっきり申し上げます、えー、知らないところに関しても、あのしっかりとです、ねあのー、調べて、えー、ご報告するということで、えー、あります。<笑> I was appointed president in July, and there is a major difference between the sort of information I had received prior to assuming the position of president and the information、uh, I get to receive after becoming president. And therefore, there may be some difference between the information that company may have had as a company and the information I personally had as president. However, I will clearly state whatever I know, and even in those cases where I do not know or I do not have any knowledge of, I will look into the matter and supply the report to you. ですからあの、いつだというご質問に対しましては、えー、昨年末あたりということだと思います。So,、uh, responding specifically to your question of when, Um, I would say、uh, sometime、uh, toward the end of last year. Toward the end of 2009. That is correct. Okay.、Uh, were you aware of the fact that there had been complaints by consumers long prior to that time? あの現在は認識をしておりますですが、社長になる前にそういう情報が入ってたかというと、正直、えー、認識が今のレベルではございません。Right now, I'm aware of that.、Uh, however,、uh, did I have that sort of information before I became a president?、Um, I didn't have that sort of information、uh, with the same degree of accuracy that I do now. But you had some awareness.、Um, we just heard from Secretary LaHood prior to your testimony, and he talked about the fact that NHTSA sent a team to Tokyo to meet with the top leadership of Toyota to bring to their attention as forcefully as they could. The fact that there was a problem and that it needed to be attended to, that meeting was prior to your testimony just now that you only learned about this problem in December of last year.、Uh, were you not aware of the fact that NHTSA had sent a team to Tokyo headquarters? NHTSA had sent a team to Tokyo headquarters, and the problem was that the meeting was going to be a meeting. 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 その内容、その時期に対しては、えー、私はちょっとあの、えー、分かっておりません。大変申し訳ありません。On that specific point,、um, that was a matter handled by the division in charge of quality assurance. And certain person in that division, I understand, received the visit from NHTSA representatives and had discussion with them. I know that. However, I do not know the specific content of the discussion nor the timing of that meeting. Well, there seems to be some discrepancy. Again, we're trying to get at what did we know and when did we know it、uh, to sort of gauge the company's, the quality of the company's response to the serious problem on behalf of its customers.、Uh, and obviously,、uh, we have an interest as American. Congressmen and women to protect our constituents who are your customers. And we know that the company certainly was made aware by U.S. officials through NHTSA who flew to Tokyo for this express purpose. And you're telling us in your testimony you didn't know about it. You were aware of that trip and that meeting, but you weren't aware of the fact that there was a serious acceleration problem with your vehicles until just a few months ago, December of 2009. Is that correct? 
Because if it is correct, given your position in the company and your family's association with the company, that would constitute extraordinary compartmentalization. はい、あの、その通りでございます。12月までしらなかったわけですよね。あの、私自身は、私自身はあのニッツァの方とミーティングがあったということはあの認識しておりますが、その内容についてははこうしておりません。I personally know that there was a meeting with Nitsa representatives, but I do not know the content of that meeting. Okay, I, I'm just going to ask one more question, and that's of uh, Mr. Inaba. I'm looking at this confidential document that was made available to the committee yes. that uh, my colleague was just referring to. And, and uh, on one of the pages, uh, it has a, uh, you know, just a series of ticks like this. And the bottom tick in your briefing, I understand what you said, it says secured safety rulemaking favorable to Toyota. What, and I'm, I'm going to run out of time, but could you at least ask, answer, what was your understanding of what that meant? As I yeah. said, I don't recall meeting in any depth, and I had no idea about this recall process and back then. Therefore, I have very little knowledge uh, about it. And funny enough that I only recall quiet cars in that whole list of that, you know, of course now I made aware that, you know, there, there was, you know, uh, a description of that, but I, I don't recall it. I, uh, Madam Chairman, I know my time is up, but I, I would just Gentlemen, go for the record that this document is dated July 6th of 2009. Gentlemen's time has expired, Mr. Davis. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. and. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank you and also uh, Ranking Member Issa, members of the committee, for the, uh, uh, allowing me to uh, join uh, for my position on the Ways and Means Committee uh, on this uh, oversight hearing on Toyota's recalls. I have the honor of representing Toyota's North American headquarters uh, in Erlanger, Kentucky, and uh, wanted to voice some perspective from, uh, from our region. Uh, Toyota directly employs more than 172,000 in plants and dealerships in the United States, and uh, it's Toyota has an integral part in our economy in Kentucky uh, and investment in the United States of America. They've maintained operations at a world-class level of quality in the Commonwealth for nearly 25 years. The Georgetown facility now manufactures engines in addition to automobiles, all part of a $5.4 billion investment uh, in our state. Toyota has been an exceptional corporate citizen in Kentucky. They've given more than $37 million to local charitable groups with missions ranging from education to social services. And not only has Toyota supported local charitable needs, but Toyota has also been one of the Commonwealth's strongest job creators. Toyota North American headquarters is in Erlanger, Kentucky, and the Hebron's Parts Center supplies distributors across the continent from my hometown of Hebron, Kentucky. In all, more than 8,000 Kentuckians work directly for Toyota, and almost 1,500 are in Kentucky's 4th Congressional District. Additionally, 90 Toyota suppliers are located in Kentucky, creating more than 10,000 additional jobs. Toyota's decades-long reputation for quality, safety, and service is based on their high standards of quality and innovation and based on their corporate ethic of discipline, honor, and humility. They've had a positive and transformational effect on virtually every aspect of American manufacturing, and I can speak to this as one of the few manufacturing professionals who serves in the Congress. Toyota is, uh, as Congress conducts uh, these hearings related to Toyota's recall, we need to keep in mind Toyota's willingness to do something unusual in American business politics in the Congress, and that's to actually take responsibility and ownership for the problem and continue their longstanding commitment to quality, and more importantly, for the well-being of their customers. Careless words and unfounded allegations by those who may have other agendas uh, can do irreparable harm to job creation uh, in Kentucky and in the United States. At a time when quality jobs are in short supply and unemployment in Kentucky and the Ohio Valley remains above 10 percent, the jobs created by Toyota are more important than ever. Echoing the concerns voiced by Kentucky Governor Steve Bashir and other governors across the United States in a recent letter to Congress, I urge the members of this committee and my other colleagues to be thorough in their investigations of these issues and to arrive at conclusions based on evidence that is uncovered rather than circumstantial speculation or sensationalism. Let's focus on the facts rather than giving way to the temptation to engage in political theater. 
Congress must exercise appropriate oversight in determining if National Highway Transportation Security Administration or Safety Administration is able to effectively identify and comprehensively investigate automobile safety facing Amer issues facing Americans. And moreover, America needs clear and consistent automotive safety standards applied to all manufacturers in this country, not simply one, to ensure the safety of the entire American public. I appreciate your willingness to come and participate in this today and the contribution of your uh, business uh, to our country's economic strength and wealth. And with that, Madam Chair, I thank you and yield back. Thank you for your comment. The gentleman's time has, has expired. Uh, Ms. Maloney of New York. Thank you, and uh, thank you for coming to testify today. Earlier, in response to the chairman's question, you said the dealers in America are responding to any of the problems and making the customer whole, assuming all costs for repair and uh, trying to subsidize for their time and so forth. My question is, what about the American families or individuals who died or were injured since the company knew about the problem? Will you assume their medical costs, their funeral costs? あの、本当にその豊田社と共に人生を終わられたセイラさん、ご家族に本当に申し訳ないと思っております Yes. Uh, truly speaking, uh, truly, uh, I feel very sorry for the members of the Sailor family who ended their life uh, with Toyota vehicle. And I, I extend the condolences from the deepest part of my heart. Working closely together with engineers, uh, Toyota team members, and suppliers in making maximum efforts so that such a tragedy be never ever be repeated. But you did not answer my question of whether or not you would assume the cost of the hospital uh, repair of the body the expenses of the individuals. Okay. Well, many of those cases are pending legal issues. And so we will leave it to our legal counsel okay. for its information. Earlier, uh, when this came forward, you had this, this uh, report examination done. And I'd like to know if you think this is this report on the problems and the solutions was sufficient. Earlier, uh, Commissioner LaHood testified he was depending on the research of Toyota. So I'm asking whether you feel that this is sufficient. And, and secondly, I'd like to go back to a field technical report that came in from Europe. And in it, the mechanics are, are, are really uh, very clearly stating that there is a problem. And I, I want to know why this information was not gotten out to people, to America, to the dealers, to everyone immediately. And specifically, how many complaints trigger an investigation? Is there a standard? When someone complains and says there's a problem, what happens? How many complaints have to come in before you start reaching out. Okay. First of all, uh, let me address this cross-regional information sharing. As I stated before, we could have done a much better job, and we are now uh, taking steps to improve it, as I said before. And uh, to the specific question of uh, how many e number of reports do you need to initiate the investigation. I think for the UA issues, unintended acceleration issues, that we are committed to take actions 
in investigating those issues one by one. In other words, once we get the complaints of reports of that UA issue going forward, we will, the goal is to start investigation <coughs> within 24 hours of the information that we receive. And we are creating uh, many, many SWAT teams to really go into that area. Okay. I've been called for a vote, but I'd like to get on the record, if I could, um, your response, Mr. Toyota. What have you learned from this personally, and what lessons has the company taken from the events leading to today's hearings, and how will you change Toyota in the future uh, to protect people and to provide a, 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 an excellent product? And I'm running to both. If you can answer. You, you, want, him, you want him to answer? I want him to answer to the answer. You may answer, uh, Mr. Inabo or Mr. Toyota. What have you learned, etc.? あの、例えばリコールに関してでございますが、今まであまりに技術的検知、そしてかつ法令遵守をしてるかどうか、その2点に非常にあの集中してやってまいりました。あの、uh, with respect to the recall, uh, thus far, we have uh, been too much focused on two perspectives. One is technical perspective, and the other is compliance with laws and regulations. The most important lesson that I learned from this experience relates to the following. With respect to customer first philosophy, uh, we have been placing the highest priority on the safety thus far and we will continue doing so. But on top of that, uh, from the perspective of customer first, we will place greater emphasis upon customers' viewpoint and perspectives. So that's the first lesson that I would like to uh, mention here. And in addition to that, uh, we'll make sure that we get information from various regions of the world in a more timely manner uh, so that the time lag uh, be minimized between different parts of the world and the global head office in Japan. We'll make efforts in that direction. Thank you. Um, if I may say so, the reason that you have seen uh, such emphasis of what you call the technical matters and the law is precisely that customers did in fact apparently over and over again complain about these issues but had no way to know the cause and expected Toyota to in fact look at the technical details. The technical details uh, are beyond a family that reports uh, unintended acceleration. And the family expects that having reported that, there will be an immediate remedy. The matter of law goes to transparency itself. Now, the law requires uh, automobile operators in this country to, uh, uh, manufacturers in this country to operate in a certain way. Uh, and therefore, the first thing we do is the law can see if they are operating uh, according to law. And law here meant, uh, of course, the regulatory agency. I don't know if you want to respond, but I do want to make it clear. And I was pleased to hear that apparently the route from customer complaint to those who can do something about it is one of the reforms you have suggested in your testimony already, that apparently these went astray because they didn't get quite straight up to the, the fix-it person. 
And as I understand it, one of the most important reforms is not that the customer complaints you'll listen to, I suppose you heard them, but the right people in the structure did not hear these complaints. Is that so? At the right level, the level to bring an immediate remedy, those people didn't hear it soon enough, and so the customers weren't heard soon enough. Is that correct? あの、え、その え、その一生懸命やってるところをより今後おトレスパランシーを上げながら、え、あの、当局の協力も仰ぎながら、そして業界全体の向上につなげるようトヨタとしては今後ま、あの、力になっていきたいというふうに思っております。it's not that uh, customers were not heard, in my view. Uh, whenever complaints were reported, we try very hard to reproduce and duplicate uh, those complaints uh, to uh, identify what it was that was actually uh, taking place, which led to the complaints coming from the customers. We investigated them very hard, and at the same time, whether the similar phenomenon uh, is likely to continue into the future, how much possibility there is for the same uh, phenomenon to spread to other uh, areas or other cars is another aspect that is investigated. So uh, I will say that I will accelerate that process of uh, following these three steps further into the future. But with respect to the reproducing reproducibility or duplication of those phenomena, we have been ver working very hard within Toyota to do exactly that. But even with the best efforts made, there are cases that cannot be or that has not been reproduced. So going forward, uh, we will enhance the transparency of the process of us working very hard to reproduce and try to identify those causes. Uh, sometimes seeking cooperation from the authorities concerned. And we intend to lead uh, our efforts in this area in the manner that our efforts itself will lead to the improvement of the vehicles of the entire industry. I, I'm going to go on with my questions. I just want to make sure you're not blaming the victims. The customers reported. We you, understand. You, uh, 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 the customers reported. Let's not right. say you know we want to hear our customers. The fault does not lie with the customers. You can bet your bottom dollar that the first time there was un unintended acceleration, that's about everybody's horror. You can bet your bottom dollar that that customer reported that. Your answer, which goes to we'll see if this is duplicated, is in some ways very troublesome. Because that is such a serious uh, problem that once it is reported one time, it seems to me you have got a huge problem on your, uh, on your hands. And you seem to be saying, well, if we hear, hear it en enough, then we'll know we ought to do something about it. That's very troublesome. Well, uh, what we said in our testimony and other many other times, customer first, is the thing that we you know, we have been doing, but we would have to make more focus on the customer concerns and complaints. And for that matter, I think we also work closer with uh, NHTSA, NHTSA, 
so that when they receive the customer complaints, we'd like to know more about it. And then also, uh, some of the information has been, uh, will be sort of open to us, including win number, so that we can trace back uh, each one of the customers. As I said, this SWAT team could do that. So we are trying uh, uh, very hard to really put the word customer first. Um, first, <laughs> let me say to you, I'm going to ask you a question that I think uh, every American who has a Toyota would want me to ask. And I can ask this because it's personal as well as congressional. I drive a Camry hybrid. I switched to Toyota very reluctantly because I wanted to buy an American car. And the Americans were not making hybrids almost at all or were so few that I went straight away to Toyota. Why? I didn't ask how much it cost. I was relying on this extraordinary reputation for quality and safety that had been built over uh, generations. So I ask you, Mr. Toyota, uh, is there any chance that the Camry hybrid will be recalled? <laughs> for any reason. First of all, let me step in. First of all, uh, Chairwoman, you are driving American car. It is produced American. It's got Mr. Toyota's name on it. You don't want to claim it anymore? <laughs> you are disclaiming the car. No, no. I think it is an American. It was the American's fault. No, 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 no. Please. <laughs> Healthier. And first of all, and also now Camry Hybrid is, is not on the le recall list. No. Yeah. And I just want to find out if, if you expect it ever to be on the recall list for any reason. I think you'll be very safe and, you know, driving the car. So that's all I wanted to just step in before Mr. Toyota You stand behind the Camry hybrid, Mr. Toyota. あの、現在のところ大丈夫でございます。ただこれから毎日使っていただくお客様がより長く使っていただきますと、その時にどういうお言葉が出てくるかわかりません。ですから、今後も現在は全く大丈夫でございます。ですけど、今後もお使い、お使っていただいておられるお客様の声は真摯に受け止める体制を全世界今作っておりますので、謙虚に聞いていく姿勢でいつまでも安心してお使いいただける
The cars that had the problem were no, shipped no. from Japan or something? The reason I, what I said, you know, uh, why, you know, Camry Hybrid is an American car, because you did bought an American car. That's what I meant, which is produced here, uh, supplied here, and then, so that's all yeah, I want. Many Toyotas are produced here and supplied here, aren't they? We're pleased to have you produced and supplied here. Uh, is but the worldwide reputation begins in Japan and stands behind wherever they're produced. Sometimes they're oh, produced in Europe. That's very true. Um, Mr. Toyota, uh, I was impressed with your opening remarks. In fact, I'm impressed with your being here. And I'm impressed with some of uh, what you have said you intend to do, because we are really going forward. I am trying. And, and my own question is to get some sense of need to have confidence in Toyota and where there are still some questions. But in your uh, testimony, you, you say, and I'm quoting, I would like to point out, he, this is page one of your testimony, that Toyota's priority has traditionally been the following. First, safety. Second, quality. And third, volume. Now, I'm going to ask you a question about what seems to be a fourth priority. That is, for me, the most troubling aspect of this controversy. And that first, fourth quality is secrecy. Um, to get to the heart of my concern about secrecy and the culture of secrecy, um, I would go to the data recorder, otherwise known as black box. Now, people in the United States are very familiar with airline black boxes because they know that in that black box is critical information. And if you get to it, get to it fast, you can find the cause, you can put you can not only respond to those who have been hurt, you can put to rest some of the concerns as people begin to speculate what indeed caused this, and they come up with sometimes wild conclusions. But that black box uh, is critical. Now, other manufacturers, understanding just how important it is to get to the cause of the accident for all concern, make the black box data available to download. I have had a hard time understanding, therefore, given the fact that your competitors make this data downloadable easily, I have had difficulty understanding Toyota invoking proprietary technology that allows only you, Toyota, on the spot to download. Why should we respect your pri proprietary <coughs> uh, technology any more than we respect the proprietary technology of other automakers, particularly given the safety aspects of this matter and the fact that an accident has already occurred. You, why do you not want to clear the air as quickly as possible? On what basis do you invoke some pri pr pr uh, proprietary technology interest when your competitors do not in the downloading area? Uh, let me respond to that question uh, first, that yes, we know that uh, Detroit Free manufacturers have this uh, information and then the reader is commercially available. Toyota is also making this... It's, it's, wait a minute. What's of commercially available and when? Uh, Detroit Free, General Motors, Ford, Chrysler have this commercially available uh, reader that this, this what, what you Why don't you have such a reader? We are mo um, in a process of making it available, commercially available by uh, 
probably middle of next year, which is ahead of the uh, law requirement, A. B, that this year by April, in two months' time, in less than two months' time, we are going to make 100 units of readers available uh, at any, any region, any area. The point is that, you know, with the authority also in the past request, we made it always open. Now, this is the information, the EDR information is the owner's information that with their consent, we can make that information. Yeah, it was available if you were on the spot. I mean, we don't understand why. No, we did not hide it at the request of authorities, like police request or NHTSA request or some other government you know, authorities request, we had made it open. Once you came as if there was something that was so secret that even you had to be there in order for law enforcement and regulators to, 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 to read it. I, I just don't understand the difference. Indeed, let me make sure I understand what your testimony is. Are you saying that the company is redesigning the black box so that it can be readable by law enforcement, by safety investigators and consumers? And owners of that, it is not, yes. it should, should not be made available to anybody else unless there is a consent, in my, uh, to my knowledge, of the owners of the vehicle. You would not have to be, Toyota would not have to be present in order for the black box to be read. Is that true? Just like other manufacturers, you don't have to come to unlock the black box personally. I don't know that technical detail to answer. Well, that's the whole point, sir. One second. Uh, Mr. Chavitz uh, uh, from Utah, you have five minutes. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Toyota, Mr. Neba, uh, thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, very much appreciated. Uh, Mr. Toyota, do you believe you're being treated the same as other manufacturers in the United States of America? Yes, I believe so. Do you have any reason to believe that other automakers are treated any differently by NHTSA? No, I don't think so. Um, if you could hand the document, please, to them. Uh, um, there's a document dated July 6th of 2009. If you could take a look at this, please. This is an internal Toyota document dated July 6, 2009. Uh, Mr. Inaba, I, it has your, your name on it. My apologies if I pronounced it wrong. On page 7, which should be the second page, it says under the first bullet point, Changing political environment, massive government support for Detroit automakers. Is that concerning? Why was that brought up? Better. Yes, Ex please. This is one of the, I explained already once part of it. Uh, this is one of the my orientation orientation data because I was yes. a few days in to this position, and this is a this is prepared by Washington office to give me uh, sort of first look of it. Uh, I do not honestly recall all these notions. Only thing I, I said also, recall is a quiet car regulation, which struck me with a very strange feeling. But that was the only thing. But looking at all these papers, this certainly does not represent the Toyota's overall guiding principle or belief. To, on the second page, um, it's under key safety issues. Mm -hmm. On the first point, it says U.S. DOT, NHTSA, under Obama administration, not industry friendly. Is, is that a compliment or is that a criticism? I can't comment on that. <laughs> what, what, does it, what does it mean to you?
Let, let me go to the last point, Mr. Perhaps both of you could take, take this. Quote, the new team has less understanding of engineering issues and are primarily focused on legal issues. Can you explain what Toyota's meant by that? I still don't understand what the big difference between the two. Engineer, legal, both are involved anyhow. Uh, both what? Both sides have been, in, you know, will be involved in a discussion anyhow. It, 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 this is an internal Toyota document. Mr. Yes. Mr. Toyota, how, how would you read this? I can't understand it. My understanding is that both Toyota and NHTSA knew that about this problem back as early as 2007. And yet it took so long to get it taken care of. Is there a regulatory component here that was slowing us down? まあ、プレゼンテーション資料の一部だということは今日あの、えー、理解しましたけれどもどういうバックグラウンドで、えー、どういう形で書かれたか全く把握しておりませんので、えー、ちょっとそのご質問にお答えできないこと大変申し訳ないと思っております。Uh, today, I uh, came to understand that this particular document was prepared as a part of the presentation material addressed to the new president. However, I do not know the background of this writing, nor do I know how this document was prepared. And therefore, um, I apologize, but I simply do not know the answer to your question. Do, do you believe it's true? Is it, do you stand by it, or do you want to distance yourself from it? Well, I need to understand this further. That is to say, I cannot understand the English written here. Now, eight months into this position, I'm beginning to learn myself and form my own opinion. So that is not consistent, or I'm learning is this is, does not represent my feeling today. And of course, I will learn more. I would like to build a very good relationship with NHTSA and so that we can work together very good. Do, do you explain to me the, the negotiation that happens between an auto manufacturer and NHTSA? It, often the word negotiation is used. How does that work? What, what is negotiated in your... I have met NHTSA officials twice, so I am not able to explain what the negotiation means, so it is still a little bit too premature for me to say anything. But I don't know, certainly, negotiation is, doesn't sound like a good word. There's a discussion, yes, but also exchange of information, yes. And we oftentimes get the good guidance from NHTSA, government official, we listen to it, respect them, uh, they ask us information, we provide them. So this is sort of like the nature of the uh, relationship, as I understand, whether it falls into negotiate or not, I can't, I don't know. Do you, do you believe, Mr. Toyota, that uh, American unions have an undue influence in this process? あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Do, uh, Toyota hired some former NHTSA employees. Why, why would it be appealing to hire former NHTSA employees? Well, first of all, uh, those two gentlemen mm -hmm. who came from NHTSA I know personally. So, of course, uh, having how, a how did you know them? Why, how did you know them? I just started meeting him more often because I, I am a president of that company and meet them. Uh, when Wait, did you know them before they were no, hired? I did not. No. So uh, I'm beginning to know their personality, how their professional standard. So I have very high respect for both, you know, gentlemen's, uh, you know, professionalism and also ethical standard. A. So it doesn't matter whether they're okay. coming from Nitsa or not. To me, it does not. And do you believe that the relationship between Nitsa and Toyota or other manufacturers is, is too close, too, too cozy? I don't believe so. Gentlemen's time has expired. Mr. Kucinich of Ohio, five minutes. I thank the gentlelady. Uh, we have heard uh, Mr. Toyota say that uh, Toyota grew too fast. It's interesting that's being told us as we're investigating cars that are accelerating out of control. It's ironic, but I would submit uh, perhaps a misleading parallel because the problem is not that you were moving too fast, but that you were moving too slow too slow to recognize the material defects that put people's lives at risk, and too slow to have some internal questioning about the effectiveness of your own value innovation program, uh, which in the mid-decade uh, uh, began slashing production costs so that you could reach a 10 percent operating profit, and then when China came on into uh, into full uh, competition and began dropping their price for parts, uh, you began to cut your costs even more. And this committee hasn't really looked at the economic uh, uh, backdrop of the change, what appears to be a change in Toyota's culture, but which may be, uh, a, in fact, a, a kind of a cutthroat corporate competitive environment which caused Toyota to drive its costs down. And with, as we know everywhere, when costs are driven down, uh, Safety is also put at risk. Uh, there are 180 different parts that you looked at where you cut the cost by at least 30 percent according to all industry reports. Now, um, Mr. Uh, Toyota. To your knowledge, were there uh, ever any discussions at, at Toyota that certain design or engineering flaws would create system failures that would result in unintended acceleration. あの、自分の就任前、いわゆる成長スピードが早かったというのはご指摘いただいた通りですが、成長が早すぎて人材育成のスピードを上回ったというふうにご理解いただきたいと思います。そしてある面、そのまあファイナンスドリブンマニファク
Uh, was there, were there any, ever any discussions at Toyota that certain design or engineering flaws would create system failures that would result in unintended acceleration? That was my question, and I would appreciate uh, the um, courtesy of a direct response. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
for if you're going to be an American company for working with our parts suppliers. I understand that you need multiple suppliers. That, that having a, 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 and it's good to have the competition. That's how we get better things. I understand even why, as a corporation, you need to have legal protection. Although you need to be honest about what's happening here, and partly when we have hearings like this, more people file lawsuits, and you have to protect yourself and your stockholders. And I understand that. But in looking for safety, I encourage you to continue to look at the American suppliers, because in this case, I don't know whether it was because you were trying to do cost controls internally on your historic system, but what I see happening, and it's interesting when you match up these two models, what happened is, is that it isn't true that the American company was supplying your American-made vehicles, that you've been transitioning over, and where the problems were occurring were in the Denso model, and that you've moved 50% over to Camry starting in 2007, but the problems were pre-2007. You've now been moving Lexus over, and I'm, I'm praising you, I'm not criticizing you for moving over, but it's more or less an acknowledgement that while you had problems in this one, they weren't as great as this one. And I would encourage you, like others have, to look at whether there was some interaction in the type of pedal, whether it was the cruise control that did it, or the electronic, or whether there's something inside here, because you're addressing the snapback because that, that's just a fraction, isn't unless you, you catch your mat, which is partly, we have people sticking carpet under, you know, you can have a, any kind of pencil get under that, that affect that. But that's still different than this sudden acceleration. And I, I uh, encourage you to uh, continue. Uh, you have multiple manufacturing plants in the state of Indiana, which aren't in, in my area. Like I say, we're more of the big three. I also want to encourage you, in addition to not treating us differently, compared to Japan and, and Europe and safety questions and continuing to use American suppliers and doing your standards. I mean, the companies in my district are saying when you come in, you're very aggressive on, on making sure they have uh, good standards. But to continue to do that, and I'll also encourage you, I'm very discouraged that a number of years ago you said your goal was to be the number one auto supplier to Iran. Now, we have rules in the United States about supplying Iran, and I hope Toyota also reverses that position because uh, as Americans, we're very concerned about that. I'd be welcome any comments. Thank you for all the uh, suggestions and uh, advices. Uh, I must only say that we do not treat American customers any differently from Europe or Japan. And just a matter of timing, that there may be a difference in acting, reacting to the pro or uh, resolving the problem, but there's no way that we can differentiate uh, any American drivers from the rest. All right, gentlemen's time has expired. Gentleman from Illinois, Congressman Quigley. Thank, Thank you, Mr. you very much. Mr. Oh, oh you know, Congressman, Congressman Quigley, Illinois. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My colleague from Ohio uh, stressed that he raised a point to get a more specific answer, and I will briefly try to do the same thing as it relates to um, black boxes. Um, clearly, other manufacturers make this black box data available to download. At this point, uh, Toyota has proprietary, proprietary technology that allows only tech Toyota to download this data. Now, beyond adding more, the, the specific question is, will your company redesign the black box so they can be readable by law enforcement, safety investigators, and consumers? It is true that we have one leader in the United States which can read EDR. And we have made a decision that we will have 100 units of them made available by the end of April. How will they be made available to, to uh, whom? This is made by our supplier, so it's, it's a Toyota's technology. But uh, let me carry on. By middle, I guess, was uh, my middle of uh, 2011, prior to the law uh, requirement, we will make this reader commercially available in this market. So there are steps that we had to take, maybe because of the technical reason, but we are making it because for us also, <coughs> excuse me, it is very important to know 
the reasons of any accident and you know getting into more technical detail of that and of course we have been always uh, open our information to the authorities requests but the other manufacturers don't make these entities hurdle to get this it's just it's it's not proprietary I mean, so they can do it themselves you, you're still making it difficult even if you add more readers um, as you say information is so important and as we've talked about before our one of our big concerns here is we don't know exactly what's happening uh, Mr. Lentz yesterday said he's not certain that a recall would fully solve the safety problem so again we're, we're flying blind and with respect I don't see that the, what you're talking about is a dramatic leap forward to improve how much information we're getting with these incidents as they take place. And uh, as other manufacturers you are referring to is, in my understanding, to the best of my knowledge, it's only General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler. And no other makes are not ready yet, I, I don't think. So I think we are still among early wave of that information available. With, with respect, I think that um, it would behoove you and everyone who drives your vehicles, including my family, if you, if you rethought that and advanced the uh, efforts to make this information available far more quickly than, than it allows, and even in the redress attempts that you're talking about now. Yes, we are trying to, sir. Um, getting to the main point that was made by Mr. Lentz, uh, that he wasn't certain that a recall would solve these problems. Uh, it came down to the issue of electronics and still a question there. Uh, what is your level of certainty as to whether electronics is a main cause of this problem? Well, let me try my way. Okay. My level of confidence is 100%. Uh, I think I have a full trust in Toyota's engineers. Over 50 years, I think they have done a great job to bring Toyota name up to here. And I have no doubt they are still doing it. So, of course, all the ex exhaustive testing done at Toyota, it is exhaustive in, you know, in their mind. That's why we went outside to exponent. And if that is not enough, we are willing to stand. Uh, we are just in a process, just very close to announce a, what Mr. Toyota referred as outside advisory board. This is gonna be two very prominent, I can't name it now, as of now, maybe in a couple of days, two prominent safety experts leading the panel to investigate this ETCS of Toyota, you know, whether it is any, I mean, whether it is any problem or it is robust. And they can choose any outside laboratory to test it. So we are now ho hoping that we can announce it fully so that you would understand. But we are willing to take that uh, sort of test through this advisory. And they can be also advisory board to our overall quality improvement. So but this is what I wanted to say. Gentlemen, time has Thank expired. You. Congressman Fortenberry from Nebraska. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you for coming today. Uh, frankly, it is refreshing to see uh, corporate executives uh, show remorse in what is a very ser serious issue and to try to unpack the uh, way to move forward on resolving safety concerns with your product. Uh, with that said, I'd like to ask you one question and then perhaps propose uh, a, a creative uh, opportunity for you to consider. Uh, is your corporate culture in America different than your cor corporate culture in Japan so that the corporate culture in America is impeded from responding more quickly to safety concerns? If I understand your question correctly, is corporate America culture different from 
Japan. So you add Toyota. Is that the question? It would be helpful to have an understanding if your corporate culture in America is fully free and independent to be able to respond quickly to the safety problems that are presented to it to them here. Well, of course there is a difference because uh, our corporate culture in America is very much composed of so many Americans, vast majority is Americans, and therefore there might be a difference. But at the same time, it is amazing that we see a lot of commonality. I personally see a lot of commonality because I have worked in this country uh, uh, nine years. So I have seen many of the Toyota associates here, including our dealers, and the corporate culture is very, very uh, similar to my surprise to that of Toyota value in Japan. But there is also a difference, you know, in communication, I have to admit. And there's sometimes, a, you know, uh, a lack of communication because of the language differences, because of the cultural differences, too. So here I am, being a head of this North American operation. I am called half American, half Japanese. So I think I can bridge that gap very easily so that our corporate culture uh, of customer first and then honest and transparency should be kept intact. So there's nothing in the American Toyota corporate system that is not free or is impeded by the uh, dominant corporate culture in Japan to quickly address safety issues? It would be fair to say that there's none, but there's always a difference. I but I think my job is to sort of even it. One of the most significant issues here, of course, is the unintended acceleration. The uh, earlier comments were suggesting that, and, and your executive yesterday suggested that what you are doing may not totally fix the problem. Now, in that regard, an unintended acceleration has affected other car manufacturers. So I would suggest to you that you have a potential opportunity here as the dominant player in worldwide automobile manufacturing, or certainly one of them, to perhaps lead on a new way of thinking about this safety problem, working perhaps in a consortium with other manufacturers, your very competitors, working with the United States government, we had the Secretary of Transportation here, to think more creatively and perhaps do the research and collaboration that shows that it is this mechanical problem that we were demonstrating earlier, or is there some electrical issue that has not been discovered yet that more collective minds working together could actually discover and broaden the impact of the safety changes for, for the entire car industry? あの、あの、コングレスマンおっしゃっておられるように、あの、世界で、え、ビジネスをする上での社風というか大事にするもの、え、というものは世界のどこであっても、え、共通だというふうにご認識いただきたいと思います。Um, um, as Congressman Congressman has just pointed out, throughout the world Toyota has been deploying business and pursuing business in the world. Uh, I believe the corporate culture or things that we treasure very much are commonly shared anywhere in the world. え、そして、それぞれの国の方のお客様に、え、商品をお届けするということを返してやる場合、え、やはり今後よりアメリカの文化、え、風習、え、それを、お、4月からえ、より地域主導で進めていこうというふうに思っておりました。uh, however, different regions do have its own culture, its own customs, and local people of a specific country work for our company, and we deliver our products to customers in the local markets. And in that sense, um, I have been thinking since April 
that we will give greater initiative to different regions of the world. For example, by emphasizing more the culture of the United States or the customs here. Gentlemen, time has expired. I now recognize the gentleman from Illinois, Congressman Davis. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and I thank you, gentlemen, for appearing before the committee. Uh, Mr. Toyota, for years there have been complaints pouring into your company about unintended acceleration problems in your vehicles. Your own field technicians in Europe were alerting you that something in the accelerator pedal was causing cars to speed up uncontrollably more than a year ago. When did Toyota first learn it had a problem with sudden unintended acceleration? And why did it take you almost a year to bring this to the attention of regulators and even more time to tell the public about the problem? Is there some policy in your company that prevents you from alerting regulators as quickly as possible about a problem or the public so that we all become aware? あの、会社のですね、あの、ま、伝統とま、誇りにかけまして、え、トヨタは、え、何か問題起こった場合には、え、徹底的に事実を追求し、え、いい加減なごまかしはしない。え、またその際の基本姿勢は、あくまで顧
And I'll personally take leadership in uh, putting in place the structure that will enable us uh, to capture information from the local areas concerned in a more timely manner. Media reports suggest that your company knew at least a year about the stick and pals before you shared that information or communicated that information to the regulators. Do you think that that was perhaps a bit lengthy a time to tell regulators if the company knew? Now, uh, I know this sticky pedal situation is in uh, question. And yes, we knew that probably a year ago in Europe. And as I have been saying that this had not been shared well enough on this side. So we did not hide it, but it was not properly shared. So we need to do a much better job in sharing what, whatever is happening in Europe should be known in the United States so that we are all alert, see if there's any danger to American uh, uh, consumers and drivers. Uh, the other issue is that w the first information we get to know was in Europe was all right-hand drive cars and also different models, much smaller cars than those models sold here. Though that's why initial judgment, which was wrong, though, uh, turned out to be wrong, but it was limited to a right-hand drive and it's much smaller cars. So there's a lack of maybe, uh, you may call it sensitivity, but there's no deliberate sort of uh, delay in the process. Well, let me just say I appreciate your answers and, and, and I thank you for indicating that you expect to do a better job. Yes. I'm always reminded of my mother who told us when I was a kid growing up that what you do speaks out loudly until it's hard for me to hear what you say. So I hope that your actions will be uh, certainly forthcoming and I thank you very much for your answers. Thanks, sir. Thank, thank you, the gentleman from uh, Illinois. Now you call on the gentleman from California, Congressman Bill Bray. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Inaba, you just made a comment that kind of was startling for me. And I apologize that you have to testify in a second language um, and in a, a setting that may not be as comfortable for you as you prefer. But you stated that you had 100 percent, you were 100 percent sure that the difficulties with the pedals, with the acceleration, was not electronic, that it was not going to be involved with the uh, data systems, that it was a physical problem. You stand by that statement? Sir, uh, may I clarify what I meant? Because the question I thought was that are you personally, what, what is my confidence level about ETCS, Electronic Throttle Control System? So my feeling is that since I have a trust in our engineers, even though it has not been extensively tested by the outsiders, which we, I added, but I, my confidence, personal confidence level is 100%. But I'm only referring to ETCS system, okay. sir. Because it does concern me when anyone can say anything to 100%. You know, it's one thing to stand behind your vehicles. It's one thing to ask the American people to stand in front of them, especially with their children. And 100% is a very strong statement. And it's fine to say it here in these hearings. But out in the real world, we've had some terrible tragedies. I just want to make sure, as being a representative in San Diego, where the tragedy that finally opened up this book caused not only Toyota, but the American community to be willing to ask the tough questions that I don't think have been made. Mr. Toyota, your family has spent decades creating a reputation that is second to none, probably only compatible with the, the, the inventor of the automobile themselves. The big question is, do you think there's a possibility that that reputation, being so good, might have made those of us who were regulators, 
not ask the tough questions that we might have asked from General Motors or some other automaker, or that same reputation and feeling of success and, and confidence might have left Toyota not to ask the tough questions of yourself. In other words, your success created the problem or created the atmosphere and the environment that allowed this problem to go on from 07 to, to uh, just recently. あの私自身、その今まで評判が高いから、えー、決して聞いてなかったというようなことはないと思いますが、えー、私、7月に社長になってからは、より、えー、顧客の言うことを聞こう、販売店さんの言うことを聞こう、良き、えー、聞き手になるんだというようなことは、えー、社内の至るところであの言ってきております。えー、まだ、えー、そういういい力が及んでないこと私の力不足だというふうに思いますが、トヨタがここまで70年間、やはりここまでお客様、そしていろ,んないろんなパートナーに支持されてまいりましたのも、やはり謙虚に皆様の意見を真摯な態度で聞いてきたということだと思いますので、それはこれからも自信を持って続けていきたいというふうに思っております。Um. I personally do not believe that we didn't ask tough questions because we had very high reputations. Uh, since I became president in July, I have been uh, saying internally within the company that uh, we need to heed customers, dealers, and we need to become a good listener. But uh, because uh, of the inadequacy on my uh, part, probably that uh, ability itself may not have spread uh, widely within the company. But for the past 70 years, we have been supported by customers and by our partners because Toyota has been a, compa a company that listens to those opinions of outsiders very modestly and in most sincerely. And you have my commitment that we will continue doing so going forward. There Look, the damage done to the Toyota name will do more, will impact Toyota more than anything this Congress can do. The consumer and the market will wage a very, or demand a very high price from Toyota for these mistakes. The question is though, how do we prevent it in the future for Toyota and everybody else? Do you agree that the federal government of the United States should require all manufacturers, including Toyota, to report all incidents of malfunctions, no matter where in the world those occur, not just here in the United States. あの私自身あの現在の技術力のある面限界は。あの現実的にはあるというふうに思っていますしかしながら、えー、絶えずその限界をもっと良くしていくんだ、えー、もっとその、えー、いわゆる欠陥というか不具合を解決していくんだというチャレンジ精神はトヨタを失ってないというふうに思っておりますそういう中で、えー、あのこれが今後その不具合なりそういうものを限りなくゼロに近づけていくためには一つずつ現実問題起こった問題をよく精査しながらそしてそれは情報開示をしていくというようなことでよりその業界全体としてやっていくよう協力をしていきたいというふうに思っております。I personally believe that realistically there are limitations to the current engineering capability. Um, however, Toyota has a challenging spirit to make things better or to correct uh, inadequacies or troubles uh, wherever that may happen. And going forward, we will continue to strive to minimize those troubles as close as possible to zero. Uh, by examining each individual reported cases, putting them under scrutiny, and making public any findings in that process. 
and we would like to work together in this industry. Mr. So Chairman, in all fairness, all fairness, I'd just like a yes or no. Should the federal government of the United States require Toyota and every other manufacturer to report total malfunctions, not just those within the jurisdiction of the United States? Yes or no? Should we require all information or shouldn't we? What is the position of Mr. Toyota? We would like to extend full cooperation. So we'll take that as a yes. Yes. Yeah. Hi. We should. Hi. Thank you. Yes. Right. Thank you very much. And now you'll five minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Congressman Cuellar. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Konnichiwa. Good day. I um, represent the San Antonio area down to the valley where we have a Toyota plant. Currently, right now, there's about 2,600 hardworking Americans in the San Antonio area uh, plant where their jobs and family and livelihood. In fact, I see Jay here, which I visited, a couple other folks here. Uh, so we're asking you to you know, put Toyota back on track uh, so Americans' jobs uh, are not put in jeopardy and, of course, American drivers that are at risk that we have to address. It is my hope that you move swiftly and safely to repair the safety problems, rebuild the reputation that Ms. Ryan was talking about, and restore the Toyota legacy which employs Americans here at home. American drivers and American workers are watching and waiting. Um, Toyota has a glowing legacy in this country for decades. Uh, for the sake of safety and for the sake of jobs, uh, you know, we need to get that back. You all need to get that back. In this country, we have American-made Toyotas, uh, made by American workers, uh, American drivers behind the uh, wheel. The responsibility Toyota has to Americans runs wide and runs deep. And this is about safety, and this is about jobs. Uh, as I mentioned, in my area, 2,600 local jobs doesn't include the on-site uh, uh, suppliers, which is about 5,500 when you put everybody. It doesn't include the uh, Toyota. Uh, dealers. Uh, so millions of Americans also drive your vehicles. Uh, as I mentioned, I met with Jay, I met with a couple other folks, uh, one of your Toyota forklift operator in, in, in San Antonio, and she says that even in this time of recession, Toyota has not uh, let anybody off, uh, has spray, uh, spared the, uh, the employees and the store working. We appreciate that. But without a doubt, your ability to repair your reputation uh, in this country will affect American workers and drivers who depend on Toyota. Uh, one of the things I want you to look at, because I'm in fairness, in fairness to, to all, uh, when you look at the NHTSA uh, numbers, uh, you see, and I don't want to go, but you can see there, you know, one company was at 32 percent, the members have handed this out, Mr. Chairman. Uh, another one was at 17 percent, another one at uh, 15, and then other, which means a, a combined ones. And then Toyota was at 11 percent. So in the past, you were doing well, very well. Uh, but again, we now have to look at what lessons have we learned. So my question, Mr. Toyota, what lessons has your company learned as a result of this recalls? あの、非常に行くたのもあの、リコールで、いいご評価をいただくように会社を元の会社にするよう精一杯努力する所存でございます。However, currently we are having series of recalls and a brake system or accelerator pedal system has caused concerns. Uh, but um, we are examining those uh, matters, pursuing the true cause of those problems, uh, identifying countermeasures, 
And going forward, uh, we'll make sure that we get information uh, more swiftly. And therefore, uh, I will clearly say that going forward, we'll regain the good reputation as represented here in this track record. And that's exactly what we are doing at the moment. Mr. Toyota, in your uh, major editorial that you wrote uh, recently, you said that Toyota, uh, and I believe this is paraphrasing your words, has not lived up to the high standards it set for itself. How has your company not lived up to those high standards? あの、それぞれの地域において、より透明性を上げていくことにも。First, uh, above anything else, uh, we will make double commitment uh, with a new vigor uh, to have safety and customer first business and through every processes within Toyota. That, I believe, would be the best uh, way for us to uh, win back the trust that we enjoyed in the past. And on top of that, as we deploy business globally, uh, we will make every effort to enhance the transparency of our business in various parts of the world. The gentleman's time has expired. And I call on the gentleman from Tennessee, Congressman Duncan. Well, <clears throat> thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, uh, yesterday, uh, uh, a woman named Rhonda Smith testified at the uh, Energy and Commerce Committee, and she's from East Tennessee from just outside my district, uh, which is based around Knoxville, that she was driving into Knoxville in her Lexus automobile and that uh, uh, in, on October 12th of 2006, three and a half years ago, and, and she experienced one of these sudden uh, acceleration events and that her automobile reached uh, 100 miles an hour and she said that she thought it was her time to die. And she said she called her husband and tried to put the car in reverse, but the computer apparently didn't recognize it. And she, she, uh, uh, she feels that, it's, that uh, Toyota's response to her complaints was a farce because Toyota uh, apparently told her there was nothing wrong with her car. Uh, our investigators for the Energy and Commerce Committee and this committee have found that their complaints started coming in about these events in 2001. And NHTSA started an investigation apparently in 2004 aimed at Toyota. Now, 2004, uh, you know, I don't know, that's, uh, that's six years ago if, it started, if that investigation started early in the year, maybe five and a half years ago if it started late in the year. But um, Mr. Toyota has uh, said several times today that he just became president last summer, as if that excuses him. Mr. Naba, though, became head, as I understand it, uh, nine years ago of, U uh, of the U.S. Uh, Toyota operation. Uh, now, my, one of my sons had a Toyota 4Runner several years ago, and my, and my wife drove a small Lexus until about two years ago, and both of those were very good automobiles. And I think you've got a very good company and put out almost entirely good automobiles. I have a good impression of your company, but Having said that, I don't believe I've heard a good answer today, and I've been in and out some, but I don't believe I've heard a good answer as to, or a complete answer as to why it took your company so long to respond to these complaints. Because apparently there were many complaints. I've seen, I've seen it described as several hundred. I've seen it described as, several, as a few thousand. I don't know which it is, but there were many, many complaints. And, it's, and I appreciate the fact that you've expressed remorse and that you say you're going to do better, but why was there not a response before now when you had all these complaints? 
。どうしてこんなにとの対応するのに時間がかかったと。まずあの昨日のスミスさんの証言、私も伺いました。あの本当にあの運転中に、えー、ご心配をおかけしたこと、えー、大変申し訳ないというふうに思っております。えー、また、えー、その後。販売店の,にの対応が悪かったこと、これも大変申し訳なかったというふうに思いますあの。なぜ反応が遅かったということでございますが、今後、その反応を本当に早くしていくように、現在、グローバル品質委員会の委員長となって、3月30日に向け、その体制を今、整えております。ですからなんとか今までのことも深く反省し、そして今回、いろいろ学ばさせていただいたことを、一日も早く対策をかけていくことが、私の仕事だというふうに思っております。Um, I listened to the testimony by Ms. Smith yesterday, and I、um, I feel very sorry and regret for the fact that、uh, while she was driving a car,、uh, such a huge anxiety was caused to her. And at the same time, I apologize for the response by the dealer, which was not really up to our standards. Now, as to why it took us so long, well, in order to accelerate our response going forward, Uh, I have established the Special Committee for Global、uh, Quality, and we are now setting up the framework so that the first meeting can take place on March the 30th.、Uh, we have deeply reflected upon what has happened thus far. We learned a very important lesson from what has happened, and to take actions、uh, for improvement as quickly as possible, I think, is the job that I really have to attend to at the moment. Well, let me just say this. I, I understand there are no Americans in the top leadership of Toyota in Japan. I think it might be, you could say there's many Americans in the top leadership here, but it might be a good idea to put a, a couple of Americans in the top leadership of, in Japan. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman's time has expired. Now, call the woman from California, Congresswoman Spear. Uh, a question、uh, to both the, the President and the CEO here in、uh, the States.、Uh, have you turned over every document to NHTSA that relates to the sticky pedal and the sudden unintended acceleration? I believe so. So, so that the Rikai was still. I believe so. That's my understanding. So there's not going to be any suppressed document or、um, secret document that we're going to hear about a year from now. All right. That won't happen. Now, uh, uh, the people of Japan are very hospitable.、Um, I know that for a fact. This is the number two most important market for Toyota in the world. When a United States regulator flies to Japan to meet with、um, your leadership, I find it hard to believe that one, you didn't know about the meeting, and two, you never had a report about the meeting. Can you respond to that? ただそれは事実でございますので、大変その対応が悪かったことは、えー、申し訳なかったというふうに思います。But that's a fact, and、uh, I regret that the response in that manner was not good. ただし、あの品質部門の仕事が、まあ、いろいろ反省するべきことはございますが、あの品質部門のものがあのしっかり受けてたと。Would you turn of over? Course, I'm sorry. Of course, there are things that、uh, we、uh, reflect upon, but I believe that the people in the、uh, quality division 
um, responded to that very adequately. That's my understanding, and I hope you understand. I would that. like to ask you to turn over to the committee any documentation, any memos that arose out of that meeting by the regulators in the United States coming to Japan. All right. I understand. Um, I'll do that. Now, I, I want to read you a little bit of a, an email I received from a constituent who owns a Toyota Tacoma truck that they purchased in 2008. Soon after we bought the truck, we began to notice that the engine would surge when we were stopped and had our foot on the brake. We took the truck into the dealer as soon as we started to notice these problems. We returned at least three more times with the same problem. They had a service person test drive it. They told us they were unable to duplicate the problem. My wife finally asked to speak to the head of the service department, and he told her that the truck needed to get used, used to her driving style and to give it a few months to make the adjustments. In exasperation, they went to the internet. They found similar complaints. We told the service people at the agency about what we found on the internet, and they said that they had contacted Toyota, and Toyota told them that they had never had a complaint of that nature we described. They continued to blame the problem on my wife. Now, I would like for you to review this particular complaint and report back to me, but more importantly, I hope that moving forward, you never again use the excuse that it was driver error. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
it's causing this, and we hear it's computer driven, these causes. So I would hope, that, and there's a saying that Kaiser uh, Permanente uses, I hope we all thrive. I hope you thrive. But we're concerned about the victims. They're going to be the next panel up. And I was hoping we could get both panels together so they can explain what happened to them and you can comment. But a word to the wise, and that is listen closely, make a commitment to go back and make the decisions at the top so that your particular product will be again number one. And with that, I will say kumbawa and arigato kasayamas. Thank you, Ms. Thank and you. I will yield back my time. I thank you, gentlewoman from California, for yielding back her time. And uh, of course, I recognize now the gentlewoman from uh, Ohio. I thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Toyota and uh, your associates, thank you for coming today. Uh, Mr. Toyota, I am not satisfied with your testimony. I'm being very forthcoming. I do not feel it reflects sufficient remorse for those who have died. And I do not think you have accurately reflected the large number of complaints that have been filed with Toyota for nearly a decade. So I, as one member, am disappointed. I dedicate my testimony in memory of Mrs. Guadalupe Alberto, age 76, from Flint, Michigan, who died when her 2005 Toyota Camry sped out of control and crashed into a tree. Business Week reports she blew past an intersection. Witnesses saw her with both hands on the wheel. She appeared to be standing on the brake while steering. Where is the remorse? As far back as 2002, NISTA, and our government is at fault too, records that two Toyota executives, Christopher Tinto and Christopher Santucci, both of whom were former NISTA employees hired by your company, worked with their former co-workers, Scott Yu and Jeffrey Quant at NISTA when it decided it wouldn't investigate what they termed longer duration incidents involving uncontrollable acceleration, I call it sudden death acceleration, where brake pedal applications allegedly had no effect. Li uh, NISHTA limited its investigation to those situations where it was a second or under a second. That was a major decision that affected lives all through this decade. So I am disappointed. This book, The Toyota Way, is used in business schools across this country. And the author talks about your company's principles. Principle number five reads, build a culture of stopping to fix problems to get quality right the first time, the first time. Mr. Toyota, how did Toyota lose its way? You say in your testimony, your company grew too fast. Some smart lawyers gave you those words. I think what happened was your company went from emphasizing long-term quality values and corporate responsibilities to fighting against safety regulations, against insider influence inside this city in your own capital in, in uh, Japan, and environmental regulations, and indeed worker rights and card checks inside your companies. So is it the Toyota way to use insider dealing to change decisions? And is it the Toyota way to push a deregulation agenda that works against the interests of the people of our country and other countries? Do you know how many people in Japan died because of what your company did? え、
、心からご冥福をお祈りしたいというふうに思っております。Uh, not just limiting to those individuals you specifically mentioned. I feel deeply sorry、uh, for those people who lost their lives or who were injured、uh, by traffic accidents, especially those in our own cars. And I extend my sincerest condolences to them from the bottom of my heart. で、えー、私は今日本からここの公聴会に足を運び。世界の方々に真摯に気持ちと私の心を一生懸命伝えているつもりでございますが、なかなか説明が足りないというご指摘、これも謙虚に反省をしたいというふうに思います。I came from Japan to appear at this hearing, but at the same time, I wanted, I, I, have, I have been trying to convey my sincere feelings. My own true beliefs to the people throughout the world, but the fact that you said that was not adequate is something that I will seriously reflect upon. Thank you. The Tashkani and Yoro go stick in Arimasta, Toyota no Jinzai, Ga, Sono Kakudai no Speed on Tsuite Kanakata, Toyu, Sono Genjitsuo, Shinshi, Mitome, Congo, Toyota, Yoriyoi, Kuruma, Tsuru Kaisha, Yori. 透明性のある会社に変えていくのが、私の社長としての役割と使命だというふうに思っております。As you pointed out, the development of people, human resources at Toyota may not have kept pace with the pace of expansion. I will observe that and look at that fact very sincerely. And going forward、uh, to bring about and effect changes to become a better car maker and to become a more transparent car maker, I think,、mm-hmm. is the role and mission of myself as president. The Toyota no Okak Sama Nakaniwa, Jibunwa, Korekara mo Toyota Kauyo, to it the Kurero Okak Sama mo, Watashino Marina Taksan or Arimas. So you Okak Sama ga, eh, Scosidemo, Oraru Kagiri, eh, Jibunwa, Isho, Sono. 事故で犠牲になられた方々の重さを抱えながら、お客様のために頑張りたいと思いますし、自分が唯一、トヨタをそちらに持っていくリーダーシップが発揮できる男であるというふうに思っております。However, some customers of Toyota, as a matter of fact, many customers of Toyota around me, Say that they are willing to continue、uh, buying Toyota vehicles going forward. And as long as there are such customers feeling and accepting the gravity of those victims of traffic accidents, I think it is my responsibility、uh, to care for those customers and create cars for those customers. And I believe that I'm the only person who can display、uh, the leadership to transform Toyota in that direction. The gentlewoman's time has expired. And I yield five minutes to the gentleman from, from Missouri, Congressman Clay. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman, and thank,、uh, thank the witnesses for being here.、Uh, Mr. Toyota, yesterday,、uh, David Gilbert, Associate Professor of Automotive Technology at Southern Illinois University,、uh, testified that Toyota has an electronic problem. A conclusion he derived from testing that only took him three and a half hours. I'd note that his credentials are significant and he's, he's very qualified、uh, to do this testing.、Uh, Toyota has announced that to help solve this problem, Toyota will begin to install brake, brake override systems on your cars. Isn't it true that if what Dr. Gilbert testified to, that Toyota has an electronics problem, you cannot be certain that a brake override system would even kick in and work、uh, when your electronics malfunction? Electronics. 
、私どもも、えー、今日ここに来るまでの間、えー、徹底的に、えー、再現をしろという指示のもと、いろんな再現テストを本当に24時間体制でやってまいりました。えー、今までやった限り、えー、問題は出てないというのが私どもでございます。昨日、ギルバート教授からそういうことがあるよということがございましたので、どういう試験をやられたかは、私は把握はしておりませんが、私どものトヨタ対ギルバート教授という形では、なかなかですね、どっちがどっちになりますので、ぜひこれは業界全体として、まだまだ解決できない問題があるということでございますので、私どもぜひオープンな場でですね、あのそういう検証をして、一日も早くすべ、えー、ての車に乗られるお客様が、えー、安全に乗れるようなことを、トヨタも協力してやってまいりたいというふうに思います。Duplication and reproduction、uh, test. And、uh, we have conducted actually numerous、uh, reproduction duplication tests on 24 hour basis. Thus far, we have not identified any problem with our ETC system.、Um, I、uh, know of uh, this uh, testimony given by、uh, Professor Gilbert yesterday, and I personally do not know the details of what sort of testing he conducted. but、um, Just、um, the confrontation between Toyota and Professor Gilbert will not clarify which side is correct. And、uh, this means that there are problems that h a s not been、uh, resolved for the entire industry. And therefore, in the open forum、uh, to validate the situation, we, intend,、uh, we are willing to conduct testing together so that our customers will be able to feel safe. In the vehicles as quickly as possible, and Toyota is ready to extend cooperation in that regard. And, and please, thank you for that. Yes, sir. Please allow me to give a little more. I have a little more information about that.、Uh, I would will be glad to meet with him or have a meet with our engineers、okay. and then explain his meth, you know, method,、mm -hmm. uh, test method, and、uh, if there is any input. That he may have. We are willing to listen to any input he has for the UAE、uh, issue. But we have some concerns, as far as we know, and our engineers gave us some concerns about it.、Uh, because he cut into a circuitry and then manipulated the system in a way that is very unrealistic. And also, in the meantime, with a very short time, we have conducted if some other manufacturer's cars would perform the same. We have done three cars done already with a very low UA rates. In other words, they are considered to be a very safe car. And it replicated the same way. So, in my very amateur term, it is not. An unintended acceleration, it is an intended manipulation. So, so you have determined it's not electronic, but I would, I would hope you would get with Professor Gilbert and, Absolutely. and, and, and compare your notes, compare your testing to make a determination on、yes. whether、uh, it is or isn't. Sir, yes, sir. Thank you. Gentlemen, time has expired. Now, call on the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Drehas.、Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and, and I want to thank our witnesses for, for their time today and, and for coming in and, and testifying before the committee.、Um, Mr. Inaba, I'm, I'm concerned about、um, some of what you say in your testimony relative to what we have learned uh, about uh, Toyota employees and, and former NHTSA employees, and, and ha as has been explored, Uh, by multiple members here today,、um, there, there seems to be a conflict, or there certainly seems to be an effort on the part of former NHTSA employees now employed by Toyota or formerly employed by Toyota to put a halt to some of these investigations. And, and I'll just、uh, refer to the Business Week article on February 12th.、Um, and it said, in one example of Toyota AIDS role, Mr. Santucci testified in a Michigan lawsuit 
that the company and NHTSA discussed limiting an examination of unintended acceleration complaints to incidents lasting less than a second. That's what Representative Kaptur was referring to. <coughs> it goes on to say that all four of the probes the Toyota aides helped end were into complaints that the unintended acceleration was caused by flaws in the vehicle's electronic throttle systems. Do you believe that had these efforts not been made to limit these investigations, that Toyota as a company would have reacted more quickly and NHTSA would have reacted earlier uh, to some of the problems that we're now addressing today in terms of the number of accidents and the severity of these accidents? Well, I don't know any of the specific incident or occurrence that you have mentioned. But as I said, I think I believe in their, in uh, two of our associates, very high ethnic standard and also their, you know, uh, integrity. So I have other good reasons to believe in that rather than just hinting that they may have some relationship and favor us. I think they have done, and also on the NISA part, they are very, very professional uh, team of people. Well, well, just to follow up, so you're suggesting that they didn't engage in this behavior to try to limit the investigations, and is that what you're saying? Well, I don't know how to, uh, all I'm saying is that they are, whatever they have done is within the very good ethical sort of code. My, my question, though, is if the investigations had not been limited, said, if the investigations had not been limited, would I, we have addressed the situation earlier than we are today? I think it is a very issue that, you know, since I don't know the conversation or event, I would not make any more comment on that. Uh, also, Mr. Inaba, in your testimony earlier, um, you suggested that the information in Europe with regard uh, to some of these challenges wasn't shared with uh, folks in the United States. I, I personally find that hard to believe, that uh, Toyota here in the United States was unfamiliar with what was going on in terms of recalls and addressing sudden acceleration problems in Europe. Are, so I, I just want to make sure that I have this right. So you are saying that Toyota of America was not aware of the efforts by Toyota to address the sudden acceleration issues in Europe when that was going on? Well, I must say that it is, we call in our term, sticky pedal issues, okay? And I think the truth is that Toyota American side was not aware of that or was not informed of that. That is true. That's all I know. So, so when that was going on, when those complaints were being addressed, when solutions were being created and a recall was taking place in Europe, you were unaware of that here in the United States? I personally got to know that fact in January this year. Uh, I, I will just conclude with a case, and, and I'm encouraged by the fact that my folks in Cincinnati, when I went to the Toyota dealership, and I went to the service department, said they hadn't seen any of these complaints. Um, but then when I went back and looked at the NHTSA records, it was pretty clear that there were multiple complaints about sudden acceleration. And I, I will just uh, reflect upon this one um, that I saw, and it's a complaint from 2009. And uh, the gentleman says, I bought my 2005 Tacoma about two months ago. I've experienced this problem three times now. The last time being tonight after picking up my daughter at work. The truck was accelerating and was literally standing on the brake and the engine was racing and would not stop. I threw it into neutral and it sounded like it was going to explode. I have no rugs in the vehicle. I did not come with any and I was going to get all the weather mats but have not bought them yet. The cruise control was not engaged. I do not consider myself to be uh, an inexperienced driver. I used to race uh, actually and so and he goes on. But, but clearly this isn't a mat problem. This isn't a sticky pedal problem. Uh, this is a problem with an experienced driver um, experiencing sudden acceleration. And this is in a 2005 Tacoma. Uh, I think we certainly as a Congress want to know, and I think the American people want to know, um, if their vehicles are safe. And if you can stand here today and, and tell us 
that they don't risk um, because of a computer issue or an electronic issue, sudden acceleration in Toyotas that are on the street today. あの今の,あの2005年、2009年の,そのタコマに関しては、ちょっと把握をしておりませんので、えー、その具体的なあのことに対しては、えー、お答えできないかもしれませんが、あの電子スロットルに関して申し上げますと、今までの段階では、えー、私ども何をやっても、現象出てきておりませんので、安全だというふうに思っております。しかしかながら今後です、ね、先ほどのギルバート教授だとか、いろんな方々の意見も取り入れながら、よりオープンな場で、そして業界全体に発展していくような形での検証は進めてまいりたいというふうに思っております。Um, I do not know、uh, the Tacoma case、uh, of 2005 or 2009, and therefore,、um, without knowing those specifics, I cannot give you any specific answer. But if I may just refer to electronic throttle control system,、uh, to the extent that we have conducted various tests thus far to date,、um, we、uh, have not encountered the same phenomenon as a result of that test. And therefore, I believe. Vehicle is safe. However, going forward, we are willing to work together in an open forum with the industry partners to validate this situation, introducing opinions of other people, including Professor Gilbert, for that matter. Gentlemen, time has expired. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.、Uh, let me、um, say that, first of all, I really, really appreciate your coming. Uh, to testify, and we really、um, appreciate that. We look forward to uh, uh, your follow up on the safety issue because, as I indicated to you, this is what this is all about it's about safety, making certain that when people get into cars, that they are safe. And uh, uh,、um, uh, we hope that you、uh, continue to work on that. And let me say to you, Mr. Toyota, I want you to know that I'm impressed with the fact that you came voluntarily. Uh, to come before the committee to testify. I want you to know that、uh, that to me indicates your commitment, indicates your dedication, and that you are serious about making certain that these car autos are safe. So I want to thank you for that. And I also want to thank you, Mr. Naba,、uh, for your being in touch and、uh, understanding the fact that this is a serious issue that must be addressed. Anything else you want to say to the.、Uh, um, Mr. Chairman, if I could just echo your words and say that a great many promises were made here today, commitments for change. We look forward to seeing that.、Uh, as somebody who has worked with the Society of Automotive Engineers for many years, I look forward to that、uh, change being spread throughout the design uh, industry uh, in QS 9000 and other standards. Because I believe that what we have begun here today is going to be critical for all automobile manufacturers, particularly as we put more electronic systems in the car. And I, again, thank you for your great distance and your patience through this long day.、Uh, Mr. Chairman,、uh, I would ask unanimous consent that both of our, our、uh, booklets of、uh, inclusions be put into the record at this time. Without objection, recognize the gentlewoman from. From, uh, Ohio. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just to ask unanimous consent to include materials in the record attendant to my questioning. With, without objection. So, thank you very, very much for coming. And now we go to our third panel.